Hey guys, um, so first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on my channel. I've had the channel for not even three weeks now, and I think I have like nearly 2,000 subscribers, which is just kind of crazy. And I have a video with nearly 100,000 uh, views. Uh, so thanks <laughs> a lot for the support. It's pretty crazy. And uh, hopefully these videos have been helping you guys out. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the class that I ran for using the strategy. So I used all the same attachments for all the weapons, except for the M82, I didn't use the iron sight. The M82 is the Barrett 50 cal in this game, basically. So I didn't use the iron sight for the M82, but I used the exact same attachments other than that. I used the, uh, the normal scope for the M82. So you can just read those attachments. I used the Ring of Fire tier 3. And also, before you get into the strategy, I'd recommend getting into Dirty Bomb or Nuketown on multiplayer and ranking your weapon up to level 40. Now, the reason you do this is because um, to get the Gold Viper camo and then to get Plague Diamond eventually, you need to get your weapons to level 50. And in Zombies, your weapon level goes up extremely slow. So what you want to do is play Dirty Bomb because the weapon XP rates are just really high on it or Nuketown because you get a lot of kills in it and this will level up your weapon way faster while simultaneously um, <laughs> while simultaneously um, unlocking different camo challenges for your weapon so by the time your uh, weapon level is 40 you'll have all the camo challenges unlocked except for the last one and you'll be able to complete them all by the time you get to weapon level 50 so <laughs> That once you get to the weapon level 40, you want to do the strategy I'm about to show So just like my other videos, you want to come up to the top of Noct, where, uh, the penthouse, and you want to spend your first, I think, seven rounds here with the sniper. You want to leave the penthouse, yeah, like around seven or six, and you want to get all your perks and try and pack a punch as fast as you can. Okay, so once you have pack a punch your weapon and got a couple of perks, you want to come up to the starting room again and you want to make sure this door is closed so i'm showing it at a higher round just because it's just uh i don't know i just want to show it at a higher round basically but the um the reason why i think the strategy is the fastest is because the zombies spawn in really fast in this uh, in the spawn room basically i'm not doing the strategy right now i'll show you in five seconds but zombies spawn really fast and you're going to be able to shoot the zombies more often in this room and i'm going to explain that right now so if you train all the way to here if you walk back and shoot at the zombies the sniper you're going to get like seven shots in maybe even eight and then you turn around and then you can do it straight away again so basically the reason why this is so much faster is because you're going to be able to shoot the zombies more often and so because the snipers suck. Like, this is the best strategy I came up with. I think it's the fastest strategy. Because the snipers really do suck. It's basically just making it so you can shoot more often with the snipers. Because uh, they're really slow to shoot. And uh, you can't camp anywhere. And you can't really do much. So, it's about walking back. Trying to get the headshots. And uh, just doing the strategy, basically. Just be mindful you don't um, trap yourself on like a little... Like one of these edges or something. And uh, you can get a shoddy if the dogs are annoying you a lot. You can get a shoddy and uh, just take them out. But with the iron sight, uh, you get a bit extra mobility, so you can actually take out the dogs pretty easy. So once you get around 1,700 critical kills, you want to actually leave the game. So the reason you do this is because I found it just the fastest method. So <laughs> what I mean by that is that when you um, play co-op, more elite zombies spawn in. So if you leave this game with 1,700 critical kills, you're going to have around 7 to 10 elite zombies killed. Oh, I'll say 6 to 10. So, if you leave with 6 to 10 elite zombie kills, you have 1,700 critical kills, but you also have your gun will probably be around level 45 if you did play Dirty Bomb to around level uh, 40. That means that if you play one co-op game, and get all the elite eliminations. So if you get like five more elite eliminations, let's just say that's all you need, you're gonna actually complete um, the critical kills in that time. You're going to complete your weapon level to 50, 
and then you've basically got the gun gold. You just got one more camera to do, and that is the uh, 20 consecutive kills without getting hit. And a tip for you guys um, with the snipers is to to use uh, dead wire. It actually counts as a kill, so it makes the sh it just makes it a lot easier. So 20 kills for consecutive kills. Use dead wire, and you'll be chilling. So. I'm gonna leave this game now. I have 1,500 kills and it's round 36. So I'd recommend leaving at uh, 1,700 kill, uh, critical kills, sorry, and then getting into the co-op game and just using the strategy that. So guys, I'm going to end it there uh, with the video. I hope this strategy helps you guys out. Uh, sorry if I'm not speaking very fluent. I'll get a lot better. I really do want to um, continue uh, speaking in my videos and showing my face uh, because I think in the long run it will really help the channel grow and be good for the channel. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the strategy worked. Um, yeah, so if I don't sound very fluent when I speak, it's probably because one, I've never been very good at speaking and two, I'm focusing on the game because I like to make my strategy videos and speak at the same time just so I can uh, understand basically what, um, what I just understand the strategy a bit better if I record them and do the strategy at the same time. So thank you guys for watching so much.